Hey my friend, if you want to know how you can create such dark textures like this one This video is perfect for you because I use all Ableton Live based tools basically using Wavetable Synth, Stock Plugin plus a Max for Live device to trigger the sounds. It's uh, pretty simple, you can achieve uh, similar sounds just with a few clicks and I'll show you the whole process in this week's video. Um, and I'm not alone as you can see here, you see my daughter? Uh, so we recorded this video together, hope you have fun. My name is Silvano from RoughInStudio.com where I share weekly videos on the topic of raw minimal, micro house, minimal house, whatever you want, you want to call this genre. Uh, so yeah, hope this is inspiring, this is an advice buffet to give you some inspirational triggers, right? Sometimes I have the feeling, or uh, I can only speak for myself, um, where I see something, where I read something, where I hear something and then I think okay I want to try this and uh, those are the videos hopefully for you on this channel about the uh, topic minimal sound so yeah hope you like it hope you get some inspiration out of this let's jump right in into Ableton Live and let's create some dark textures alright so for this week's video I want to talk a little bit more about how we can create such uh, sounds here like drones, dark vibe, textures and whatnot all with the built-in Ableton Live stuff, you know, stock plugins, so you don't have to buy or install anything new. Uh, if you have Ableton Live Suite, you are all set. So maybe you need to install Max uh, for Live device, which is the MD Snake, for um, triggering some sounds, some MIDI notes, but uh, it's not really necessary if you don't uh, want to. You can also play it on your keyboard or whatever, right? Or use another sequencer. Anyway, so let's play that track quickly Let's maybe build one from scratch here. Um, let's mute that. And the first thing I do, simply inserting a new MIDI channel, and we need to trigger those sounds. I like to use MD Snake for that. To use a little bit of a more um, darker sound vibe. And I use the random buttons here, maybe add a little bit of swing. The speed I go with the lower notes here and here we can choose the range of pitch right where we want the, the randomness happen so we can choose the range in the lower notes or in the higher but I like to keep them somewhere in the middle here and um, yeah so far so good for the trigger part of things we can still adjust it uh, just that we get some sound out of it and of course we need to insert a uh, wavetable synth right now let's play around a little bit maybe so the first thing I like to do is um, we have different sections here right I'm looking for um, which one was it this um, instrument part and then I go for marimba right maybe a rimba or a bell um, were great in my opinion for those kind of sounds and I also choose a longer attack longer release for uh, more evolving sounds not really too exciting right but um, we can adjust that What I like about this synth is we can basically choose a slider, activate it and then go into the matrix section here. As soon as we have um, touched the slider or, uh, or uh, uh, whatever it is, you know, a, a button or whatever, 
then you see it pops up here and then we can assign um, like an LFO to it or whatever you want so maybe you want to add LFO jump right in to the LFO here since we want an evolving kind of sound Let's add another synth, uh, not another synth, but another um, filter here. can also put it down here a little bit for darker vibe We choose a random direction here. Second LFO. Just play around a little bit here. Let's see what happens if we add a little bit of uh, random note setting here in the unison and we increase the voices and the amount. So we get a big difference here already, right? this boring sound very nice actually hey friend i'll jump back into the video in a second but before we do so i want to say thank you thank you that you watched so far really this means a lot i wouldn't make this those videos if no one would watch so you watch this for so i want to reward that and i want to give you something for free which is my ableton live one tool preset pack so this is basically ableton live based stock pack those are basically presets you know that you can drag and drop into your uh, channels let's jump quickly in and see some examples how this can help you out and how it can inspire you and then we jump back to the content thanks for watching pretty different right those are little sound design tools to keep you going hopefully go and grab it for free let's make this a little bit dirtier maybe right automated another tool here right Pretty simple. Again, those are not the, the most complicated whatever tools. They are simple, straightforward tool to 
to make a little bit of impact to add uh, those little things that I like to talk all the time in my videos which is add things that you can feel but not hear you know so that's the sound right clean and nice and now let's transform it with those tools of course we want some additional grooves right now you can transform shit pretty easily with those tools it lets you really tweak stuff, you know, that's my whole point. It's not the fanciest shit, but it's quick and an easy fix and that inspires you, you know. Combine it, add more stuff, add more tools and it keeps you going. I hope so, hope it does, you know. So Let's add some stuff to this maybe. Right? Let's make quick A, B. Pretty different, right? Those are little sound design tools to keep you going, hopefully. Go and grab it for free. I also want to show what's possible with one simple, simplistic, minimalistic tools. You know, where you can transform your shit with stock plugins. So, yeah, if you want that, grab it on the link below. Thanks for watching. Now, let's get back to the, to the content. Okay, so far so good, I think. Then the next thing I would do is add a grain delay. Actually, I would add two grain delays maybe in a series. In a series. Um, number one. And then I pitch this also down a little bit here. I use the random pitch. without it so it gets pretty dark here but also we have very low notes so we probably need an EQ here to cut some lows And then um, maybe I would add another grain delay here. Right. So without those grain delays here let's see how it sounds sounds like this with the grain delays get a much more darker vibe and also play around with the random pitch maybe So we get some really nice dark textures, I think. Now in context, sounds like this. If you want to experiment a little bit, we can still add a second oscillator or maybe some noise. Sometimes that's also very interesting. 
Halt. Something like that maybe, just in background a little bit. And so on, right? So this is open for experimentation. I hope you like it. So basically, to sum it up again, I use MD Snake to trigger the sound to make some MIDI notes. Then a, a simple wavetable synth, choosing um, instruments. Then I use a, um, a marimba. Then I simply play around a little bit with some LFOs and stuff. Um, I'm sure you get some happy accidents with that, 100%. Then uh, I use two grain delays in series, pitching down the pitch here a little bit, um, random pitch increasing a little bit, some feedback, some dry wet. Also, just have fun experimenting with that. And then um, an EQ, of course. Maybe I would also add a, a compressor after that uh, because sometimes uh, it can peak quite a bit to control the levels a little bit. So, yeah, but that's the whole story here. I hope you liked that, hope this was fun and inspiring, hope to see you next week. Thanks for watching, thanks for your time, my name is Silvano from RoughInStudio.com. Don't forget to download the free one tool preset pack, it's all based on Ableton Live uh, effects. Those are little tools to get you quick wins, to keep you inspired, um, like hopefully this video here. So yeah, get it for free by clicking the link below this video. Have some fun, cheers, bye bye.